What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're turning, if you're new here, what's up? I'm Tuisha, and I'm here with my mom. And today we're going to be looking at apartments in Atlanta. So we're gonna see when we get there. But yeah, I'm excited. And yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along with me so you guys can be excited with me. So I'll check back in when we make it to the first place. Well, we're here. We're in the parking garage, trying to find somewhere to park. We don't know if there's if this parking is available for guests. Man, it's 11, 12. So 12 minutes late, not that bad. The whole, the whole time slot is 11 to 12, so this hour is for me. Um, so we're gonna be right here as well. We are gonna have two buildings. Um, so the building that you do see in front of you is gonna be our building 2000. And in building 2000, it is gonna contain study rooms on every floor, um, both private and group study rooms. There will also be a double courtyard in this building. It's gonna have barbecue grills, turf area. So pretty much a like nice green space. Uh -huh. So when the weather is good like this, although the weather here is kind of crazy, so it's out of here to miss. Um, we are pet friendly, so we are gonna have a dog run. So if you don't have any pets, so you want a dog sit, any family pets wanna come over. Feel free to take advantage of our dog, dog run. We're also going to have an Uber and Lyft ride share area in this um, building as well. So that means if you are ordering an Uber and Lyft at like late at night, you don't have to wait outside. You can wait in the lobby and then the Uber and Lyft will just pull up to that side door and you just walk right and get inside your Uber, of course. Make sure you take check your tags as well. So, um, and then the leasing office will also be in this building as well, as well as our model unit. And then majority of all the other menus are going to be inside that building 1000 right there. Um, so this is going to be in that elevator with Zoya South Pool that is going to sit on the second floor of that building. Uh -huh. So it is going to overlook Northside Drive as well as the Howell Mill District, which is on that side. Um, we are going to have a rooftop Sky Lounge, and in the Sky Lounge it is going to have a bar area. Um, plenty of TVs, plenty of lounging space, so nice city views. So when the weather is good, definitely take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. We don't charge for any amenities, so as a resident, you have to worry about paying any additional costs outside of your monthly rental installment. Okay. Um, and then all of our amenities are going to be on the ground level for second floor. We are not going to have any retail spaces in that all of our amenities will be at the bottom. So you don't really have to worry about it. So you're going to see your exact furniture, your exact appliances, everything you see. So usually when people step on this black mat right here. Sorry. Okay, I'm in there. Oh, so now, boom, welcome home. Um, oh. All of our apartments do come with smartphone access entry. Mm -hmm. What that means is you can lock your bedroom door and your apartment door off on your smartphone. You'll also get a key file. Thank you. Yeah, of course, definitely. Um, let's go with your granite countertops. My favorite thing about the kitchens are going to be this blue okay. backsplash. Mm -hmm. So in your apartment, you will get this blue backsplash as well as these open shelving. Mm -hmm. So it gives it like that modern feel. It's something that you say you were definitely looking for, more like upgraded, renovated. So it's definitely something that you're going to take advantage of. Mm -hmm. And then in the four bedrooms, we have three different floor plans. We have the D1, the D2, and the D3. Yeah. The D1 and the D3 both have this dining room table right here. Of course, you have more chairs, I mean, that is a four person. Mm -hmm. And then the D2, which is kind of my favorite. I like the D2. And actually, the D1 and the D2 are the same price mm -hmm. for more square footage I would definitely go to D2 because it has a countertop with bar stools okay. and I'm more of a bar stool person and you did say modern so I definitely did, does think it goes well with the kitchen so yeah. I like the bar stools that's just my preference and you want to look at the flooring this is the exact flooring that would come inside the apartment there's no carpet from hardwood floors everything and we can transition into the bedroom right here um so all of our apartments do come fully furnished. So you look at this full size bed. You yes. also have four dresser drawers underneath the bottom. You don't have to bring no furniture. So you don't have to bring it fully furnished. Wonderful. Fully furnished. So you have your dresser drawers underneath. You also have your guest and chair as well. Um, and like you say, you do want your own private bathroom, your own closet, everything. So of course you don't share anything with your roommates besides the common area. So that's gonna be the balcony, the kitchen, the living room. Mm -hmm. So you have your own bathroom, your own closet, your own room. So of course you don't want to be bothered. Close your door, you don't have to worry about nobody. Right. Um, so this, keep in mind this is a show space, but it does give you an idea of how much space you have inside your apartment. Mm -hmm. So of course you have enough space for your desk and chair as well as your bed and dresser drawers underneath. You have additional space, so you want to do like a little shelving, anything. 
Um, you feel free to mount your TVs on the wall. We do a lot of residents mount TVs on any part. Feel free to do so. Mm -hmm. um, we can take a look right here. Um, we take a look at the different floor plans just so you can see them like bigger. Um, so the D1 is going to be our standard 4x4 four four floor plan. It's going to have two rooms on each side, rooms A and B, and then C and D. Mm -hmm. My favorite in this floor plan, I would take your room A or D just because it's on the corners and it does like it has more space because it has like a longer walkway. Mm -hmm. Bases like these are just like box and box. Yeah. Um, and all of our apartments do have balconies and then the D2, which is my favorite. <laughs> I love the D2 floor plan out of the four bedroom. It does have a relatively way bigger balcony. And if you look at the balcony sizes compared to the D2, I mean the D1 and the D3, yeah. the balcony is bigger and it's actually a better deal because the D1 and the D2 are the same price. So I would definitely say, why not go with the D2 floor plan? Mm -hmm. um, it does have the bar stools and this floor plan, I would still get rooms A or D. I love room A because it will have that natural lighting from that balcony. So when the sun rises, just open your windows. I'm more of a natural lighting person. Yeah. And I would also get room D because you still get that natural lighting, but it's on that corner. So it's now we're not close to the living room. Is on your own little island in a sense. And then yeah. the D3 floor plan, which is right here. Um, my favorite is room A. Because <laughs> you can't beat that room A. You can clearly see a daylight. Why would anybody want that room A? It's kind of by itself. Um, it does have a little bit more square footage. Um, and I love the layout of that. Like I tell you, you have your own bathroom, your own closet as well. So the only thing you will be sharing are all the common areas with your roommates. And you want to turn around, this will be your living room area. This is the exact furniture that will come inside the apartment. So you get that couch, that chair, the coffee table. And then depending on the floor plan that you do select, like, you get the dining room table or the bar stools. Mm -hmm. I usually tell people to go sit on the couch so you can see what it feels like. It's relatively pretty comfortable. Um, so you know you're gonna be in your living room watching TV, Netflix, yeah. and feel free to sit down. So and this will also give you also the 50 um, inch smart television that comes and living mounted on the wall as well. So you only you want a TV, you only need a TV, bring a TV for your bedroom. Okay. Of course, and then we can take a look transition to the conference room and we're gonna go over all the amenities that Catalyst Mirtum will offer come this fall. So after Joseph finished with our tour, he took us to a room to discuss other amenities that he could not show us within the model unit. So he showed us the pool, a sky lounge, club room, game room, a fitness center. And he also showed us an area or a room with building supplies. As he mentioned, you can mount your TV. So there's a room with like hammers. And there was also a yoga studio. And I also took the time at the end to ask him any questions that I had concerning the building, the amenities, the costs, all that so stuff. We're back. And that was hold on, really hold on, nice. Everybody, no, hold on. We're back, and we're back. What were you saying? It was so beautiful. Okay, here's the directions to the next one. It was beautiful. The highest one was sixteen hundred dollars a month. I won't be living over. I'm like, what? what? Is that a house? And I'm not even mm -hmm. in, not even in Midtown paying. Let me say Catalyst Midtown, but this ain't the Midtown I know. <laughs> the Midtown you want to be in. Yeah, this one is the a four by four is the second. Like it goes one place, then it goes this place, then it goes the last place in terms of priciness. So this one's in the middle, but then it comes with other fees. So like if I have too much on electricity, parking, but it's really nice in there. It was really beautiful. My braids look crazy, but I liked it. So I don't know. I'll consider the, the mix though. That one. Oh my god. Oh, they go snooze. What they say over there? Coming soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they say snooze coming soon. And no parking. And no parking. Gotta park at the apartment. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Come out and walk to go have breakfast at snooze. He <laughs> didn't mention that. Look at that snooze coming soon. So, that's exciting. That's the thing. He didn't mention that. It should have included as a selling point, but yeah. So the next place we're going to is uh, Westmar. He said it like it was, mm -hmm. so we're gonna go in there and see. Hopefully it's cute. Hopefully it's everything that it needs to be. And not, mm -hmm. yeah, not, mm -hmm. cause I don't wanna be living nowhere that's, mm -hmm. it was only three minutes away. I, I thought it turned back that way. Mm. So that one was nice. But I'll check back in when we go to our next place. And we got a water bottle. Yeah, we could have picked up anything in the refrigerator. I was like, oh my God, so many. <laughs> so many options. Yeah, they had sparkling the water. Oh, you didn't get it? Why you didn't? I would need needed water. Oh, you did, because you was over there. Not doing too well. But. And that was a tall can of Red Bull and sugar free. Is they going to give us some of the options in the refrigerator? Let me see. Let's see. Two. He was real nice. He was very nice. He was right here. Oh, I see. I'm going to say, yeah, where? Yeah. <laughs> I would hit 
kitchen. Okay, this is what's smart. Mm. It's nice. Oh, oh, no, I have. Future oh. resident and leasing office. Oh, look at how you're walking in. Oh, they live here. Hello. Oh, it look nice. Is this what's small here? Oh, it's not new, but it's nice. It's That's not. That's what he was looking at. It's not new. What was over there? They had balconies over there. But what's over there? <laughs> but it ain't over here. Oh, let's see. Okay, future this, resident parking. Like, this look like like a HBCU. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right now, Mama. Is this what a black folks said? <laughs> no. Yo, we in the hood. <laughs> I showed them. They got cameras all out here. Look on the pole right there. I see that, but what that mean? Hello. <laughs> Mama. What time is this for 12 30? Mm -hmm. We are early. We are early. It's 11 54. This was three minutes away from the catalyst. Yeah, fuck with this right around the phone. She said, Is this what a black people at? I hear a train. You gonna hear that in your room? <laughs> the train? What train? I do. But what is that? The train. Motor right here, baby. You hear motor? It's passing. Hope you hear that in your rump. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he said Ain't that. no balcony. Yeah, see that? What that is over there? What's over there? They have balconies. And a pool up there. What a Maybe pool at? have two options. Maybe it's the cheap option. That's the expensive option. Do you think so? I have no idea. Do we know? Okay. <laughs> Y'all, she is over here. What's the word called? <laughs> what she called? What are you doing? Stereotyping? Oh, no, I'm just saying. No. You're be, what is it called? It's a, you're going to be in a mixture of people over there. Oh. And now you're going to be with your people over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mama. Let me stop. I'm out of here, I think I'm in the hood. That's why he looked like that. That's why he looked like what? That's smart. Oh, I thought you were talking about the, the guy that walked oh, down here. The guy that was giving Yeah, us he said you're going to the boonies. What's yeah. the next place? The mix. They the ones who not far from Georgia State, but they the most expensive one. How much are those? Let me see. Oh, it was ten fifty for the cheapest one at the mix. Well, they had nine forty nine over there. But they had a hundred dollars of park for student parking. Okay. And they had that's ten fifty there. That's ten fifty right there. Yeah. I just said in their car, they want this money to come around here and get them. Mm -hmm. yeah, please get your car, because you might not have the I don't really want a dog thing, because I just imagine when they have pets, they got shit everywhere. No, well, they probably strict with that. That's a new new thing over there. You hear your dogs pooping everywhere. Well, I don't want to be walking in the hallway and they got poop on the floor. They ain't going to be doing no stuff like that. We're picking that poop up. I guess sometimes you gotta sacrifice. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be living the struggling college student life. You be the what? The struggling college student life. Welcome to your world. Welcome to what world? You're struggling. As soon as that lease over, life. I'm running back to the house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're on my phone now because am I shaking? We're on my phone. Now. Shaking. <laughs> we're on my phone now because I don't know what I was saying. He got my shoes on. Give me them. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama, what did you say? He had a gun in his pocket. What the hell is going on here? Oh, he's kind of cute. Mama, you and his BMW is waiting. In, in the BMW? In the BMW? Oh, that's kind of cute. I'm trying to hook you up, sweetie. Girl. Let me see if I can shut up. Oh. <laughs> boy had a gun in his pocket. I didn't see that. So where am I at right now? What the hell is going on here? With a gun in his pocket. They put shooting? them out. That's what it is. You see that? Head is rolling back. They put his ass out. You gotta get out. That's not what that was. He coming back and he gonna blow places up. <laughs> it's 12 10. Our next, I mean our appointment is at 12 30. The next one's at 1 45. <sighs> but that's one that did not have parking. <laughs> All right, so I'll check back in with y'all when we're inside of this building and when we see what's going on. Oh, yeah.
As our tour began, the tour guide took us through several parts of the apartment and its amenities. We saw the mail room, the break room where they offered vending machines with drinks and snacks as well as medicine. There was a game room and it also had a really dirty couch. Why, why did y'all show me that? But it also had a really large entertainment center with different um, games and TVs to watch. There was also a huge pool with a lot of barbecue grills and the tour guide also told me that People host parties there, so it could honestly easily turn into a hot mess, especially with how ghetto the place already was. And then she showed us the study rooms where they had private spaces as well as, you know, more open spaces. And they had Mac computers, which was a plus. As we made it into the unit, it was fully furnished. There was also a washer and dryer in the unit and you could um, upgrade the kitchen to have better appliances and a more modern look at an additional price. The first room was a nice size, but the closet was tiny. Like, I don't know what could fit in that closet. Um, the room was a lifestyle with the exposed ceiling and piping and something in the bathroom was making noise. I don't know what it was, but it was alarming to me. And as we transitioned, we moved over to the bigger bedroom, which someone could have at, at an extra cost on rent each month. So it was not the same flat rate as other rooms. It was higher because it was bigger. We have a candy room, candy buttons um, in either room. So mm -hmm. in the event of an emergency, go ahead and press that. And press the security. No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the police up here. <laughs> so we just finished our tour at Westmar, Atlanta, Westmar Apartments, Westmar Lofts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when we walked in, a girl was already having an issue. I guess that was the person, the one, the one who mediates the issues they have. A girl, a resident was talking to the lady who mediates the issues. And she was having issues. So that's what we walked into. Um, the place is cute. It's not as, it's not new because the one we just saw is, is being built, is newly made. So of course it's not going to live up to something that's just now being built but yeah it was you know you know outside really not that clean we saw somebody with a gun what what's she <laughs> mama what this is over here this what what is this this building here she said the police yeah. down there <laughs> Show, look what, what you did mama how you tapped me <laughs> in the middle of me recording oh i'm, I'm so yeah, we, let me eat my mic. We got right to street. Well, yeah, when we got there, you know, the outside not really that cute, as we already said. Then the girl was arguing, well, she had a roommate disagreement. Then we got into the place, you know, it's not really that mm, up to date. Mm, um, mm, the, I like, walk into, I guess, what was it, the clubhouse? I look over there, the couch is a little dirty. I'm like, hold on, y'all didn't want to dust the couch off before? <laughs> before y'all had a tour? Um, then the toilet making noises. What them noises are? I'm like, I'm asking her, but she don't even know. Oh, it might be the toilet. Like, girl, was at the, the bathtub, the toilet, the sink? What is making noises? Because that's the issue. What I, I got plumbing issues. So. And as we was leaving. I'm, can I get all the way through the tour? The pool's nice. That's cute. The study room was nice. She didn't show us the fitness center. I just thought about that. Mm -hmm. Um, and as we was leaving, well, I mean, you want to see us away. Mm -hmm. I forgot what happened as we were leaving. As we were leaving, the lady, we was on the, the lady, it was another person at the desk and somebody called her and they was complaining about the water the light no the lights so the lady i think she said maintenance not here no more and so the lights gonna be off till monday that's what she said mm -hmm. now it's the same lady that was talking to the girl with the problems that they was having with another person oh that was her oh mm -hmm. she had a mask on so yeah they got a lot of issues over there <laughs> and the security guard said the damn yeah they said we got security always here this, this thing doing nothing but sit in here she ain't doing our damn thing. Woke the, the first time. Exactly. Woke the she could have. She could have said, Y'all park. 
Let me get your parking pass. Yeah. You're we... waiting for a damn ID. Okay. She going to get it. Okay, she yelling a lot, but. Goddamn. The space mom got security here, but clearly the security's not really doing much of nothing because she wasn't helpful at all. She wasn't even friendly. So if I got a problem, I'm, I don't want to come up to her because she already got an attitude too. Like she hit her job. And she not doing her job properly because she, we got people telling us, the tour people, that we need a parking pass and all this stuff when she was the first person we talked to. So I see what Joseph meant about that. <laughs> Our friend Joseph at, um, at the Catalyst, yeah. Hello, I'm right there with you, Joseph. Yeah, we see it was, it was, it was ghetto. Yeah, yeah, and then it's $11, you got to get a rental insurance. Everything. For 50000 I'm not bringing nothing in there for 50000 Yeah, no. So I'm covering y'all shit up in here, but y'all got security and y'all got all oh, cameras. What's going on? That's what I wanted to tell her. I'm like, let me just be quiet. Don't say nothing else. Just listen. So you gotta get 50000 of coverage. Mm hmm. Damn. What is? All I'm bringing is my TV and my clothes. <laughs> 50000 Like, they taking the car? <laughs> I have the car parked in my room. You must have something. <laughs> Very good street. That's tall. That's a big old building. Lord. That's the balconies. Hold up. Wait a minute. Got a race right here. Duncan. Hold on. That's kind of bullshit. Ooh, Lord. Right here. The parking right here. It's parking. I don't know what the parking for. For the oh. Resident. Resident, Resident only. only. Oh. Resident access shit. only. $8 all day parking. What about Lisa? Who they calling? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. too long because my camera is about to die and I want to make sure I have enough um storage to at least or at least build the um in the unit or whatever so from, you know first glance it's really nice it's beautiful in here like it looks like a hotel like it's so beautiful you know that's a, not a good thing over there so you can take this down trash out but this is like the lighting everything looks really it looks really nice and it, the great thing about it is you're literally across the street. So there is like a lot of in and out I'm seeing, but this is nice that there's this like, there's two checkpoints of security right here and also at the door, but that front door is like, probably wouldn't be the best measure because I'm seeing that, you know, like once somebody's coming in, coming out, you can easily come in. Like somebody helped us come in actually and we're just guests. You don't know us from nothing. Finally, we're at the mix, which was a beautiful apartment. But the difference between this tour and the other ones was that it was not a solo tour. I was with another group. We saw the fitness center. We saw we saw the game room, which led to the pool. And the pool was kind of small, but it was still beautiful. There were study rooms that also had a view of the pool in the game room, but for more privacy, you are able to close the curtains. And there were additional study rooms with cushioned seating and privacy walls. And as well as a music production studio. In the unit, the kitchen had beautiful stainless steel appliances and floor to ceiling windows. Uh, it was also just an overall modern, sleek design. There was carpet in the bedroom, which isn't my favorite, but it added more comfort to the bedroom space. And it also had floor to ceiling windows and a walk-in closet and a beautiful bathroom. And in the unit we saw was a one by one 
but in a 4x4, the bathroom would have a tub and a shower head. And lastly, we made our way up to the Sky Lounge, which was the most beautiful part of the tour. My favorite part about the apartment. Just imagine the views at night. Oh my God, Atlanta at night. Oh, yeah, I saw that. This is so nice. You can see Georgia State, Stone Mountain, Grady. You can see the Capitol. This is just, this is the epitome of city living. <laughs> I'm sick. What's up, y'all? We're back from the mix. It's hot outside. Yes. Very hot. But just know if you want to live at the mix, it's beautiful. Beautiful. But there's a feet everywhere you turn. But it's beautiful. So, out of the three that we saw today, what was your favorite? Um, my favorite. House <laughs> my favorite was. The first one. The first one. Her favorite was Catalyst. The Sky Lounge. The sky oh yeah, that's, lounge. yeah. The Sky Lounge on the 26th floor. They have Beautiful. a because they're like the tallest building around, so you could just see everything from the very top of it. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Actually finished the video, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you follow my, make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social media at me Marie and. Um, maybe I'll take y'all along with me again to the next apartments I go through, go to, hunt, store, whatever. Um, and let me know which apartment you like the best. And yeah, peace out, Girl Scouts. Love y'all so much. And see you in my next video.